The Avenger is the biggest service vehicle in GTA Online, and now it is the most recent operations vehicle in the entire game too. But with a starting price of three and a half million dollars, the biggest question is, is it worth it? So today I'll answer that question. I'll explain how the vehicle works, how to use the operations terminal, if it's good, and if you should buy it. So subscribe if you enjoy, give it a thumbs up too, let's go. First things first, how do we actually buy it? Well, you buy it on Warstock, Cache, and Carry. Now recently, this vehicle actually got a lot cheaper. The main reason for that is usually, before this latest update, you would have had to have bought a facility first. And the facility was about $2 million, so really that paywall has now been dropped and it's a lot easier to actually buy this vehicle now. Let's talk about the upgrades for the Avenger. On the purchase page, you can change the paint color. Now look, that's just the paint color, okay? It's not going to do anything special. If you have the money for it, go for it. If not, it doesn't matter at all. Next, we have a gun turret. This is going to be $200,000. Don't worry if you don't want to buy that here. We can actually just buy that in the hangar. The same thing goes for the operations terminal, which I'll elaborate on in a second, but the other two, the vehicle workshop and the weapon workshop, that's going to give you your own LS customs in your Avenger to customize vehicles, and the weapon workshop is your own little ammunition where you can upgrade your weapons and buy Mark II weapons. These are nice to have, but you don't need these at all. Your weapon workshop will be in almost all of your other properties anyway, and your vehicle workshop, you can just go to LS Customs. It's not a big deal. Let's get into the rest of the upgrades. Now, the best place to upgrade the Avenger is going to be a hangar. So if you don't have one, I would recommend buying one for this vehicle if you own it. The main reason for that is the Charlie Upgrades tab, which is only available in your Hangar Workshop. So let's go through these upgrades. The first one is the Operations Terminal. This is going to cost you $1.45 million. This is the only real way that you can make money with the Avenger. It'll let you start up six contact missions as well as three LSA operations, which will pay you a bit of money. But we'll get into that in the money making section a bit later on. Next is the Avenger Thruster. Now this operates very similarly to the normal Thruster thruster. If you don't know what that is, it's a jetpack. The difference though is the Avenger thruster isn't going to have weapons, which is why it's only 450,000 as opposed to, I believe, over 3.6 million dollars for the normal thruster. And having the thruster is really the main way the gameplay loop with the Avenger is going to work for most players. So let's say you put your Avenger in autopilot, you go into the back, you jump on the turrets here, you start shooting cops, players, NPCs, whatever you doing, then for whatever reason you need to get to the ground. Whether it's to pick up an item for a mission, maybe you need to go into a property or something like that. What you can do is hop off the turret and your Avenger thruster will be stored in the back. You can either hop in here or just jump out and parachute down. Once you get down to the ground, you can request your thruster through the services interaction menu like this. The thruster will spawn right next to you. You can hop in, fly up to the Avenger that's in autopilot, land it on the back of the tail here, and you just press right on the D-pad and teleport back inside. And it seems like with these upgrades, Rockstar really wants us to use the autopilot feature a lot more. The reason for that is the next upgrade here, which is your autopilot defenses, which are new. So now you can either get a missile lock-on jammer or a stealth module. Both of them are going to cost $350,000. The missile lock-on jammer, pretty simple. Whenever you're in autopilot, no one can lock onto you. That includes players and non-players, so NPCs. As for the stealth module, this one will put you off the radar when you're in autopilot. So this is very good for free mode and PVP. If I had to pick one, I would probably say stealth module is the best in most situations, definitely PVP. So this is the one I would go with. Next, we have the primary weapons. These are going to be the gunner's weapons that are going to be in the hold of your Avenger. So I used those turrets before. This is them. You can put them on the front side back. That is going to be the best option. And these turrets are absolutely insane. They have almost unlimited range. Even if parts of the map aren't loading in, if you shoot at those areas with these turrets, it will still hit them, even though it doesn't even register into your game. The range is insane. These things will take out almost all NPC vehicles in one shot, and they're also very, very effective at fighting players. 
Next we have machine guns. This is a new pilot weapon. So the pilot now has weapons in the Avenger. That's awesome. But really the main weapon for the pilot that you'll be using is the missile launcher. So I would 100% recommend getting the missile launcher. This gives it heat seeking missiles just like almost every other aircraft in the game. From there you have your existing upgrades that we've had for years. Armor, you're definitely going to want to max out your armor. Bombs, if you want to use a carpet bomb, absolutely put them on. Personally, I don't use them that much. Countermeasures, definitely you're going to want chaff. That basically acts as an ECM jammer. You pop it and people can't lock onto you for a little while. Engine upgrade, you definitely want to max out as well, along with handling. And then respray and livery, just choose whatever you want. Let's talk about PvP and fighting other players. After that, we'll talk about money. The Avenger can tank nine RPGs and 20, approximately 20 homing rockets. This makes it by far the most tanky air vehicle in the entire game. Like it's not really close. And with the addition of the primary machine guns, as well as the lock-on launchers for the pilot, the Avenger is now a capable dogfighter. Is it the best in the game? No, not by a long shot. But if you do have more than one player in here, if you have a pilot and then someone on the guns, this might just be the best aircraft in the entire game in terms of fighting. But really, the best use of the Avenger now in PvP is actually through its new autopilot defenses. So let's have a look at how this works. As you can see here, I was just flying around. The new Raiju jet snuck up on me from behind because it has stealth mode. And even though the Avenger did tank a lot of these machine guns, it did eventually go down. It's not quite invincible. But what's so great about the Avenger is it's a service vehicle. So you can actually just re-request it in your services menu. You don't have to pay for any insurance, anything like that. So I just flew over to the Avenger again, flew up a little bit, put it in autopilot. That put me off the radar because now with the autopilot defenses, you can go off the radar when you're in autopilot. I just go into the back, look around the city for this jet. Eventually I found him and took him out in a couple of shots. He never even knew I was there. So safe to say the Avenger is a very, very capable dogfighter. Not really a traditional dogfighter, but in terms of going in autopilot, it is awesome. All right, my grinders, I know you've been waiting for this part. Let's talk about the money. Is it worth it for making money? Should you buy the Avenger if you plan on making bank? I want to be very, very clear with how I say this. So listen up. No, 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 no. No, this is horrible. So with the operations terminal, that's $1.45 million, you can start up the six project overthrow missions. This is a set of contact missions that the community has already deemed some of the worst missions in the entire game. Incredibly boring, tedious, and completely recycled content. Even if you complete all of these missions on hard mode, you're only going to get about $25,000 per mission. If you complete all of them, you will get a $250,000 first time completion bonus. But nonetheless, you're paying $1.45 million for the operations terminal. That doesn't even come close to paying it back. Maybe the slight saving grace though is the LSA operations. There's three missions here and the closest thing I can compare them to is payphone hits. Essentially they're missions that will give you an optional mission to complete, like a bonus. If you complete that bonus, you'll get an extra $15,000. In most cases, you should expect to make around forty dollars to $65,000 from these missions and then the additional $15,000. So really anywhere between $55,000 and $80,000 for these things. The main problem with that though is a payphone hit. You can get $85,000 in about three minutes. Even speedrunners have only been able to complete these missions in I believe four or five minutes. The average player, you're looking at about 10 minutes per mission. Now, no, that's not absolutely horrible, but when compared to other money-making methods in the game that are a lot cheaper to start, like the Kayaparico Heist, the Contract, the Auto Shop Contracts, Casino Heist, even VIP work, this doesn't even come close. So what are my thoughts? Should you buy the Avenger? Well, if you're a PvP player and you're looking for a new vehicle to dogfight in, this is actually one I would recommend. It's very good and I would recommend the Avenger. Especially considering the nerfs to a lot of the jets in the game, the Avenger has put itself right up near the top in terms of PvP aircraft. But if you're expecting this to be a good way to make money, which I know a lot of people were hoping for when this update was announced, Absolutely not. This is one of the worst ways to make money in the entire game. 
And I say that because if you want the Operations Terminal and the Avenger, it's going to cost you about $5 million just for those. And that's about two or three times more money than almost any other business in the game. So yeah, absolutely not worth it for money. So there it is. There's my updated Avenger guide. I hope this helped you out. If it did, leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Poise. Since I was in the seventh grade, had my first kid. I was only 17. Always a provider for my pack like Wolverines. But you won't find me on the mountaintop. Need no calculator. I could wear.